Thank you for joining us today to talk about the King County Sexual Assault Resource Center and all of the services that we provide. First, just a little bit about KSARC. KSARC is a private nonprofit agency that's been providing services to survivors of sexual assault for about 40 years. We're one of two certified sexual assault centers in King County, um, and we have been providing services to adults, to children, and to families um, for many years. So I'll just jump into all of the different kinds of services that we do provide here. First off is our, our main core service is our 24-hour resource line. This is what was at the very beginning when we first started um, providing services to survivors. That very, very core service was our 24-hour resource line. Um, it is covered by seven staff, member, staff members that um, take calls 24 hours a day. We receive calls on our resource line from anyone. Anyone can use this line. Um, it, we get calls from adult survivors of childhood sexual assault, adult rape victims, parents of children who just have questions about some maybe some concerning behaviors that they have, um, other professionals in the community who just want to consult. Um, anyone can call this 24-hour resource line, and we welcome that at any time for any reason. Um, we'll always be here anytime, day or night. One of the other primary services that we provide at KSARC is our therapy services. Our therapy is a little bit different. Um, it's very, very focused on the healing from the trauma caused by the sexual assault. Um, so we do um, only evidence-based treatment um, for children starting ages, children and adult, adults starting ages six on up. Um, for children, we primarily will focus on um, trauma-focused cognitive behavioral therapy. And for, for adults, the therapy that we typically focus on is cognitive processing therapy um, or um, prolonged exposure therapy. And these are therapies that work primarily in helping with um, um, symptoms of PTSD after a traumatic event. And it is an evidence-based therapy that works and that, that helps. And we provide therapy right now, either telehealth or we are also starting to, to take some clients back into our office as well. Um, we our main office is located in Renton, Washington, but we have for therapy, we have two satellite offices, one in Redmond and one down in Federal Way. One of the largest services that we provide here at KSARC is legal advocacy services. We have 21 legal advocates that, that work very, very closely with um, survivors of sexual assault as they're navigating through the, the criminal justice process. From the very, very beginning, anyone can call to consult with an advocate to just ask questions about it if they want to make a report to law enforcement to have this go forward. Um, and if someone does want to make a report, our advocates can be with them during that reporting process. Um, and then walk this with them throughout the rest of the, the entire uh, criminal justice process. So what, what usually starts is a, is a report would be made. There might be a, an interview with a detective and an advocate would be with someone during that interview. Um, and then an investigation happens and that legal advocate continues to um, give survivors updates about what is happening on the case. So that again, that they have someone to walk with them every step of the way through that criminal justice process. Um, from the beginning of making a report, being with them in, in um, having interviews throughout the process, um, attending any other court hearings that might come up with a survivor so they're not doing this alone. If a case should go to trial, they would also be with them through that as well. It's a, it's a, it's a wonderful service um, that um, every survivor of a sexual assault has a right to have a legal advocate walk that with them. And we've been doing this as well for many, many years. And, and it's a great service that, that anyone is also um, welcome to have that advocate walk that process with them. We have a kind of a different way we provide intakes here at KSARC as well. Um, when someone calls, there's always, to, to receive our services, there's always someone that picks up the phone. They can access, anyone can access our services either through the resource line that I talked about earlier or calling our main office directly to have an, have an intake with a client care specialist and then be connected to all of the services in our agency 
or referrals out into the community as well. Um, so in this process, someone would call our office, would, would have a, um, a conversation with one of our client care specialists who helps to um, assess what needs someone might have and then be sure that they're connected with all the right services and has have support from the very, very beginning. Um, so it's really important to us when somebody calls that we're able to um, talk with them right away, gather information and get, get people connected to where they need to go and be sure that they have support through the very, very initial um, time that they even call, that that support starts immediately right from our client care specialist. We also have a case manager. We have one case manager here at CaseArc who any of the clients that are receiving services here um, might have need for assistance with other support needs in their life. Maybe there are housing needs related to, to um, the sexual assault that happened. Um, maybe there's other financial needs now. Um, there may be need for information about our address confidentiality um, programs in the state and to connected and, and, and set up with this as well. Our case manager also provides other community, other community referrals um, and other assistance as needed. Um, it's been one of our newer services that we've started here just in the past about five years, which, been, which has been a, a, a great asset to our clients to be able to um, get help not only with healing from sexual assault and legal advocacy services, but to have a case manager to help with maybe other needs that they have as well um, has been a great service to be able to provide as well. We also have a prevention program. Our prevention education programs works very, very hard to ad address that root cause of sexual violence in that prevention of perpetration, right? That's the most important thing. So our prevention pro program right now is, is working real closely as well in the schools and providing information, education to, um, to teachers, to um, school personnel in, in talking with students in order to um, help prevent perpetration, which is the, the essence of prevention and giving that education starting in, in those middle school and high school years as well. We also do community, um, community outreach as well to provide um, uh, services to other community members to, um, to help when something has happened in a school or something has happened um, to um, in a in any other setting where someone wants more education and information about sexual assault to be able to um, have groups of people come together to learn. Um, so our prevention program has been um, uh, very involved in the community um, for many years as well now. We also have a wonderful parent education program. Um, this education program provides support for parents or caregivers whose children have experienced sexual assault. Um, when children come in for, for counseling here at CaseArc, they'll see their therapist and it's, it's most of the time the parent can also be connected with one of our family services specialists to get information and education um, for them on how they can help their child. We know that, that parents are the most important um, most important person in a child's life. And for us to be able to help them help their child has been um, a, a wonderful program as well to be added to our case arc services too. So our parent education program not only helps parents of, of young children, um, we also will help parents of adult children or even um, spouses of an adult victim of sexual assault as well. Any way that we can help support family members of victims of sexual assault, that's important to us to be able to help them as well. And so our parent education uh, department um, provides a wonderful service. All of our services here at CaseArc are um, also offered in Spanish. So every service that we provide, our therapy services, our intake services from the very beginning, our um, uh, prevention services, as well as our parent ed services, are also offered in Spanish, and that's our Don Vos program. So it's important to us to be sure that if someone speaks Spanish, that they're able to have a therapist who also speaks that language um, or is calling just for information 
um, that they have an intake person that they can speak to directly, a legal advocate they can speak to. So our Don DeVos program encompasses that as well. We also have a system advocacy program. This has been a, a, a fairly new program over the past five years or so as well. Um, and it's been important that we have found that to not only provide all of the services that we provide to survivors of sexual assault, um, but to be sure that we're continuing to work collaboratively, collaboratively with um, others in the community. So we work very, very closely with other local systems, including um, law, all of the law enforcement agencies. Our legal advocates work very closely with the Texans who are in investigating cases here in King County, as well as the King County Prosecuting Attorney's Office when we're advocating for the clients that we serve, and as well um, Department of Children and Youth families, families. We work closely with Child Protective Services, um, who are also assisting families that we work with as well. So our system advocate stays very um, connected with each of these programs to be sure that we're all up to date on the services that we provide. We're all um, working um, collaboratively to provide the best service um, to survivors of sexual assault. Um, we um, stay very, um, very connected to them and, and, and they with us. And so that all together, we provide this multidisciplinary um, team for survivors. So CaseArc is here and we have been here for a long time and we'll continue to be here. Um, we're easily accessible. Um, you can, anyone can call our 24 hour resource line at any time. And that number is 888-998-6423. Um, it's also known as 888-99-VOICE. Um, it, that's an important word in the work that we do on the resource line, right? It's, it's our goal is to be able to offer a place for a survivor of sexual assault to, to have a voice, to have a voice and to, um, to get the services that they're looking for, have the support that they may need, and ongoing um, therapy they may need, and that we'll walk this every step of the way with them, um, no matter what their need is. So that 24-hour resource line is, is always available and there for anyone to call. We also have listed here our main office number. Our, our office is, is open 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. And we have our Don DeVos number as well. So someone who speaks Spanish can call this line directly and, um, and be able to talk with someone immediately who speaks Spanish. We thank you very much for um, spending a little bit of time with us here, to, here today just to learn a little bit about the services at CaseArc. Um, we welcome a call from anyone with any need. Thank you so much.